the funkiest white bass player in the United States, right there. Dale Johnson from Nashville, Tennessee on the bass. Let me uh, introduce the rest of the guys to you formally. I want to move on to my high school friend there. We went to Franklin High School together in Seattle. We, every morning, played with our jazz band, 7 a.m. Sharp. And I'm proud to say both of us graduated with honors, class of mm-hmm. <laughs> Robert Damper on piano. Robert! <laughs> All right. I told you earlier we've been playing together a long time. Well, our guitar player, when we first started playing together, his hair was not only longer than mine, it was the same color. <laughs> See, that really scares me because I know honestly that if my hair goes in that direction, my career is going right down the toilet. Just like Michael Bolton's. And so, you know, for me, I don't see that. I'm more of a bouncing and behaving guy, so I'm going to stick with that, I think. That's my future. Anyway, that great guitar solo earlier tonight, the maestro, John Raymond, on guitar from Seattle. drummer. He's working overtime tonight. Why is he doing that? I'll tell you why. It's because of the acoustics here at your Tobin Center. Now, I like these acoustics. It's a live room, meaning that when, when the sound comes out, it carries. I like that. It's great for a sax. Now, for a drummer, it's a whole different set of things because the drums are loud in general, and a drummer banging on those drums back there could really easily make the whole night a drum solo with some saxophone in the background. <laughs> we don't want that. He may want that, but we don't want that. But what he has to do, because he is the foundation of our band, the drums, you gotta have the right drums. And so he's gotta play with the groove and the feel and the technique and the tempo and all the stuff. But he's gotta have the power, but he can't overpower. So it's power, but not overpower. And it takes an amazing drummer to be able to find that line and walk it beautifully. And he's doing an amazing job tonight. On the drums from Stockton, California, Senor Daniel Bitterano. Yeah, Daniel! Speaking of power, what about that percussion solo? We want more. More. Okay, so as a sax player, I, I've just developed a whole different set of muscles. That's all. <laughs> Where? Where? Look, I don't have to show them off. They're in there and they're fully developed. Just know that. That's all you need to know. So let me tell you how great a percussionist he is. Now we play all over the world. We've done it for decades. Of course, we're happy to be in San Antonio tonight. Best, the best Woo! place in the world tonight, of course. And we've been doing this for four decades, traveling around the world, playing in all of the music festivals, the jazz festivals, all over the place in South America, Asia, we go to Africa, we go to Europe, all of the festivals. So for the last three, four decades, we've seen and hung out with the great musicians on our planet. We know them. I can tell you this, with certainty, the number one percussionist on our earth is in San Antonio, and it's Ron Powell on percussion. Woo! Do I need to remind you about those different muscles now again? 
And let's continue the applause for our sound engineer who's also been with us for many decades, Monty Monfort, thank you. Making it sound great out there in the Tobin Center for the performing arts. What a great building. Yeah. I love those lights when we were in the jazz club. That was cool. Okay, let's give away that saxophone right now. Wow. All right. This, by the way, is our tour manager, Arliss. Yeah. <laughs> Arliss has dressed up to be in the Tobin Center tonight. <laughs> He's from Nashville. Long sleeves to him is a Tennessee tuxedo. Okay, but what does a tour manager actually do? A tour manager puts all the dots together to make all of this happen. Like, how did we get to San Antonio? We got, we got here on the bus. We drove from Austin. Yesterday, we were in Austin. We drove all night. Not that long. <laughs> A couple hours. Yeah, we, threw, we were driving through that tornado last night. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, so Arliss, okay, look, look at the, look at the San Antonio, because look where we are, right? So, we finished the show tonight, we're in this cool area, right? We finish the show, we spend the night in San Antonio, we, we go out and have some drinks and hang out with the folks, and it'll be really fun. Can we do that? <laughs> and what are we doing tonight after the show? We're driving to Houston. I said he was a tour manager. I didn't say he was a good tour manager. Okay. All right. I got it, Alice. So I have one or two. I want to make sure I only have one. I got one. Okay. All right. So there, there is a match to this, right? And the match is going to come up here, and we got this whole thing. But before I announce the number, I want to let you know that after our show tonight, I'm coming out into the lobby, and I'm going to sign CDs, and we can take pictures together, and all that cool stuff because I don't want to get on that bus and go to Houston. I want to procrastinate that as long as possible. Woo! We'll keep you here. But they have a rule here in the Tobin Center, and I've been fighting with them all day. Management will not budge. No CD, no picture. You know, and I've, I've been fighting them and fighting them, but just remember that, folks, when you're in the line out there, no CD, no picture. And sorry, I wish I could do something for you on that. We'll get the CD. Why did Tobin? Okay, maybe you don't really want to buy any of my saxophone scene. That's okay, you don't need to, but um, Robert has a great piano jazz, piano CD out there in our merchandise desk. Ron Powell, our percussionist extraordinary, he's got an amazing percussion CD out there. And as a bonus, ladies, he's got in the CD booklet a full feature calendar. As a special bonus, this is a drummer with a drum for every month of the year. <laughs> they are a bass player extraordinaire. He has a great CD out there, simply entitled "What a White Boy Does with a Bass Guitar." It's an amazing CD. All that stuff. If you don't want to get my CDs, you get their CDs. And one last thing, just in case you don't win the sax and you want more sax in your life. We've got saxophones for sale out there in the lobby as well. But you can leave here with a guarantee of great sax later tonight. And don't worry, any of you older guys want to buy one of my saxophones, don't worry, I've got your back. I'll throw in two little blue pills, no extra charge. I've got you covered, brothers. I've got your back. I'm a man's man. I want you to be able to perform well. What did I say? <laughs> Alright, here we go. I want my match. 395-2948. Where's my match? 395-2948. 395-2948. What do we got, Monty? I can't say the name. Oh, right here? Are you right here? Yeah, okay. Come. You gonna come up? Or you... Is that real? 395-2948? Is that a real thing? Wait, I'm confused. If you won, why aren't you excited to bring up this stuff? Oh, there you go. I mean, I didn't mean that you had to run. I just meant... I didn't mean to 